laparoscopic radical prostatectomy is a complex surgery. Here I am trying to describe it in step by step. This is my case, a localized prostate cancer, Gleason score is 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. First part is posterior dissection. Uh, incision is made on the peritoneum at the rectovesical pouch and then the dissection is continued in between prostate and the rectum. There may be some small bleeding which can be cauterized using bipolar corset. The dissection is continued and try to identify the seminal vesicle or the vas deferens. In the midline, the dissection is continued and a plane is developed uh, in between prostate and the rectum as much as possible. Sometimes you can go uh, uh, up to the apex of the prostate. The seminal vesicle and the vas deferens will appear as a glistening white structure. This is the tubular. Uh, possibly a vas deferens and then uh, try to continue the dissection and free it, this vas deferens and the seminal vesicle from the surrounding fascial attachment. There may be some small bleeding that can be cauterized. Here you can see the seminal vesicle and the vas deferens is identified and slowly the fossil attachment from the seminal vesicle and the vas deferens are, are dissected out. The dissection is continued progressively to, to tease out the fossil attachment from the seminal vesicle and the vas deferens. So this is on the left side vas deferens. You can see this is the right vas. Fossil attachments are teased out, uh, progressively separated. You can identify the structures very well. You continue slow dissection and, and all these surrounding fossil uh, or fiber fatty tissue are separated. Now you can identify this is the right vas deferens. The circumferential dissection should be continued from posterior from anterior aspect. These fossil attachment are, are dissected out and seminal vesicles are freed uh, entirely. So this is the right seminal vesicle. There may be some small vessels that can be easily cauterized by the monopolar or bipolar diathermy. You can see here the right pass is separated from the surrounding structure. The right pass is cut and then the remaining portion of the seminal vesicle are freed from the surrounding fiber fatty tissue. Here the small uh, vascular supply to the seminal vesicles you may encounter and that is cauterized with either clip or by bipolar forcing. Hmm. 
Now posteriorly the fossil attachment are separated from the seminal vesicles. Uh, in Indian patients there are a lot of adhesions in the posterior aspect. The seminal vesicles are freed from the uh, surrounding structure progressively and the dissection is continued. The assistant job is to give a traction so that you can do the job easily. Uh, you can see the surrounding structures are easily uh, separated from the seminal cycle. There is some small blood vessels which is sublime to the seminal vessels should be ligated or with clip or by uh, diathermy. Similar dissection is continued on the left side. You catch hold the uh, left pass and then try to dissect the surrounding structure. You can identify the left seminal vesicle and this is dissected. There are small bleeding as it is seen on the right side and that is cauterized with the diathermy. Complete dissection of the seminal cycle is performed so that you can uh, go beyond the prostatic uh, margin. And in many times there was attempt uh, to preserve the tip of the seminal vesicle because the neurovascular bundles are very close to the tip of the seminal vesicle, and in that way uh, some advocate the chance of injury to the neurovascular bundle is less. But some suggest that complete removal of the seminal vesicle is necessary and there are reports of seminal vesicles cyst from the remnant seminal vesicle after radical prostatectomy is reported. Now progressive dissection is continued and and then after seminal vesicle and the vas difference are freed, the dissection continued uh, beneath the posterior surface of the prostate and anterior to the rectum. You can see there are a lot of adhesions. Uh, in Indian patient, we have found that there are a lot of adhesions, maybe because of uh, transrectal biopsy as well. And in Indian patients, the uh, prostatitis, the incidence of the prostatitis is much more than the Western patients. And that could be the reasons of, of uh, we encounter additions in most of the patients during the section of the posterior aspect of the prostate. From this window, as much as possible, you should continue the dissection as much as you can safely do.